Every time you get a brand new listing, it's always super exciting. It doesn't matter how long you've been in the industry. But when it comes to marketing a brand new listing, you kind of never know what you're in for when it comes to photographing it and really getting that listing to shine in its best light. Now, when it comes to virtual staging, there are a number of different reasons that you would use it and ways to approach it. In this video, I am going to break down the actual tool that we use to get properties virtually staged. And it's a tool that's not going to break the bank and doesn't require actually uh, you doing any work per se. So I'm going to break that down. My name is Amanda Fazalani. I'm co-founder of Design for Agents, where we help real estate agents and brokers close more deals through really mastering their branding, marketing, advertising, and production strategies. So let's dive in to virtual staging and really why you would want to do it. So let's start off with empty properties. <laughs> empty properties, they leave a lot to the imagination, especially for buyers. And what I mean by this is Let's face it, buyers don't necessarily, especially first time home buyers, they don't necessarily have a big imagination when it comes to properties. Now there are buyers out there who have watched their fair share of HGTV <laughs> or they have some type of background in interior design or they are really just into that kind of thing and they have that imagination. Those buyers do exist, but most buyers, right? The, the average buyer doesn't have a really big imagination when it comes to entering an empty space and envisioning what to put where, right? So if they did have that imagination, they probably would convert easier and maybe they'd even have an interest in real estate investing right? because as an investor, you go into properties that look like all hell broke loose and you envision what it could potentially be. A lot of buyers have issues with that. Now, that being said, if you have a vacant property, an empty property, you know, everything else looks good, walls are painted and all that jazz, or even if it's not so great, virtual staging can really just reimagine the property and make it look so much better. Uh, you'll get a lot more click throughs when it comes to the, the Zillow profile for the property. Whenever you're running ads for the property, just buyers are going to be more interested. Now, of course, disclaimer, you should always disclaim that the photos are virtually staged, right? You don't want to have anyone thinking that they're showing up to a property that has furniture and artwork and all of that jazz going on. And then they come in and it's kind of empty crickets going on. Right? <laughs> you always want to stipulate that, but it does at least entice them in the very beginning. And that is super important. Now, another uh, way that you could use virtual staging is if you have a property, uh, let's say, the interior, it, it looks, you know, it's okay. It's got furniture and all that stuff. It's, it's staged for the most part, or it has the furniture that the seller, you know, is, is living with, but maybe they have an epically large deck that's outdoors and there's just no furniture, right? We had a situation where we listed a property, the interior was, was good in good shape, but they had this epic deck and because they were preparing to move and it was going to be this big move, right? When we came to take the listing photos, all of their deck furniture was gone. So their deck looked so plain and it really was a, a piece of the property that we wanted to showcase because it was, it was very awesome. And in that particular area, you didn't find outdoor space like that with, with those types of houses. So what we did was we got the deck virtually staged to showcase and really, you know, shine a light on, hey, this space can look really epic and be like you know, this serene escape oasis for you from city life because um, it was it was just that nice. Right. So I'm going to show you some examples of things that we've done with virtual staging. But before we go into those examples, I want to tell you what tool we use, right? Because that's probably why you're here. Right? How do you actually do the virtual staging? Now, we do not do this with a program. It's not something that we download. We're not Photoshopping nothing or anything like that, right? I personally do not have the time to learn those skills, right? Bless anyone's heart who, who has, <laughs> but I've got too much on my plate. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I have a house, I have chickens. I've, I've got a lot going. We grow our food, I bake my own bread, right? We run a business, too much, too much. So what is the tool that we use? 
boxbrownie.com. You may have heard of it, you may have not heard of it, you may have been served an ad and been kind of like, you know, questionable on it, um, but we have been using it for years. We know a lot of um, other agents who are creative with their marketing who use it across the nation. And honestly, it is a lifesaver and it's really fun. So how it works is you go to their website, you sign up for an account, and basically when you get in there you have the ability to choose what type of project you want to create so this could be virtual staging it could be 3d renderings um you could totally renovate a property that's like if you have an investor special and it's like a crazy fixer upper or something and you wanted to completely reimagine that property you could um you know it's going to cost you a pretty penny and you know we're trying to be cost effective here it's going to cost you a pretty penny but you could do that now what we're focusing on in this video is the virtual staging aspect so you know the pricing is all broken down on the website and this is not sponsored by box brownie whatsoever this is like an authentic testimonial that you know we use this particular website and basically you go and you submit your listing photos um how they are and in a minute i'm going to give you some tips on you know what those should be because if you want it virtually staged you want to make sure that the photos you start off with are actually like the right type of photos but you go in there, you submit your photos, you tell them what type of furniture you're looking to have, what type of room it is that you're submitting the photo for. And within 24 hours, or a lot of times even less, you are getting your virtually staged photos. So it's also super time savvy, which is perfect because once you get that listing and you photograph it, you're trying to hit the ground running with your marketing, your advertising, getting it up on the MLS and having those photos you know, ready to go is, is key, right? So what type of photos are you submitting? You do not want to use box brownie if you are shooting a property with like vertical camera phone pictures that are dark or just like not crisp, right? You want to be using professional photography for this type of project. Now, caveat there, if you are actually skilled, I'm gonna make a video about this later, skilled at shooting properties with your phone that look very, very close to professional photos, you might have a shot here, right? You might have a shot here if you understand lighting angles and you've got a, a, one of the newest um, smartphones out there by Samsung or, or iPhone. You might be able to rock with camera phone photos if you have that skill set. If you do not, don't bother um, using this type of tool. It's just not gonna look right. It's not gonna match up. It's gonna look really fake and really bad. So don't bother. If you are the type of listing agent who gets professional photos done by a professional listing photographer, then you are good to go. They understand what type of angles they should be getting, right? Because when you do virtual staging, you don't want any like overhead, like like if a listing photographer is coming to your listing and they're taking a picture and holding the camera up here, that they don't know what they're doing. You need to find somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the photos should be as if the buyer is seeing it um, they're standing in the room they're taking in the space right those are the type of photos that you want you want them bright you want them crisp professional right and that is what's going to look best with the virtual staging so example of that deck that we got virtually staged right now here's an example of a uh, living room that we did so this particular property, I love this story, is it was an expired property. It was overpriced for a very long time. And what happened was we got the listing and obviously, you know, we changed the price. But even with changing the price, which was a hurdle to get over with the, the, the seller, mind you, always <laughs> for expired listings. But expired listings, listings, it's always price. We know this. But we got professional photos done. I shot them, but it just wasn't working out. You know, it was sitting on the market. It wasn't moving. We were, we were really, really pushing it uh, advertising wise. And, you know, we would get showings and stuff, but just not as much as some of the other listings that we had. So we decided to revamp it and get this virtually staged. And it made such a difference within, I want to say 12 hours, not even 24 hours, we started to get phone calls, inquiries, appointments, 
four showings for this particular property and within a week and a half we had a solid offer that the seller accepted and we were able to move it to contract with right so it can really make a difference now in retrospect i wish that we would have moved forward with virtually staging that particular property but at the end of the day you know the way that we in particular did things in new york it was based on what the seller um you know wanted and and agreed to so we had to navigate that you know you always gotta work with the seller so um here's another example of virtual staging right sometimes you might have a space that just looks a little strange you know a buyer might not know how to you know fit their life fit their furniture and, and belongings into a space and using virtual staging can really help them imagine that and imagine themselves in this space right so that in a nutshell is how to use virtual staging and what particular uh, tool we use for it let me know in the comments below if you use a different tool for virtual staging um i know that there are agents out there who work with interior designers to get this done um and that is fantastic i know agents out there who do it themselves they've learned to use a tool there are some agents who they have their actual assistants who they have paid to get them trained in that and they do that there's so many different ways to do it but for us box brownie is the easiest fastest most cost effective way um that we have learned to do it so i'd love to know in the comments what you are using and if you are enjoying this video and all the other videos that we put out or you haven't seen them yet be sure to hit that subscribe like button um, and share this with a fellow agent share this with your office so that you and all of the other agents on your team or in your office are putting your best foot forward and really marketing these properties and doing the most possible for your clients because that's what you should be doing so i'll see you in the next video